Hello everyone, hello everyone. Happy Autism Awareness Month. See, I'm wearing my shirt, my Batman shirt for Autism Awareness. All of April. All month of April. Okay, I'm gonna read you all this good story. I found this storybook from Costco and it's a regular storybook that I read and I'm gonna read to you guys. This story, it is called Respect. Aretha Franklin, the Queen of Soul, by Carol Boston Weatherford, and art by Frank Morrison. Let's begin. Blessed, cradled by the church, rocked by an Ivani sea, Aretha says a little prayer each night on bended knee. Detroit. The Franklins move north from Memphis, Tennessee. They put down roots and rise like a mighty tree. Music and clapping gospel, the Franklins' pedigree, Parents, children, praise the Lord in stirring harmony. Strife. Clarence and Barbara Franklin can't seem to agree. Daddy wasn't faithful, so Mama chose to flee. Gifted, young gifted black, Aretha hears a melody. Then she plays the tune by ear blinking perfectly. Example Her preacher father fights for rights in his community. Other leaders visit to voice a common play. Please, sorry, please. Talent, young Rita Solos, soar with artistry. Her wise father senses his daughter's destiny. Debut! 14 recording live and nervous as can be, she cuts a gospel album, gives God the victory. Voice! Aretha's voice resounds with color and clarity, spanning three plus octaves, the maestros all agree. Groove! Aretha finds her groove 
and she's rocking R and B. No woman of her time has more sharp tempers than she. Right. For the civil rights movement, for racial equality, Aretha raises funds and gives concerts for free. Someday we'll all be free. Great! Aretha's crowned as Queen of Soul or Royalty. She wins awards and accolades and more than one degree. Proud! When the first black president is sworn into history, the queen rejoices with my country, this a Sweet land of liberty. Humble, Aretha pours her queen down from sea to sunny sea, but in Detroit, down to earth, she's known just as Rain. Respect. The Queen of Soul blessed us with a golden legacy, but she would probably call it the gift that God gave me. And that is the end of our story. Of Aretha Franklin. I think what's very important about the story is that Aretha had a very rough childhood that her mother had left them, her sisters, and well, I'm just saying her family all alone. But at least her family. They always, they, no, they've been stronger together and working hard during the rights of being free, during the rights to vote, the rights to change the laws, and the rights of being whoever they want to be. And Aretha Franklin taught us that if she could sing, she could do anything with her life in order to be free. So she became a singer. She followed her heart. She became known as the Queen of Soul. And that is what made her music very special. Her voice very strong and her heart very lovely and she made her dreams come true to share her voice with the entire world and to share her dreams with everyone else because 
She is the queen. I'm on bringing my buddies. Come here, Mr. Cowley. And Mr. Cowley's best bud. Hey, what am I doing? Goofy. Oh, 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 hello, everybody. I am Goofy, and I am Cowie. So why do you guys think about the story? The story was very lovely, sad, and beautiful. I know, Aretha Franklin has the voice of an angel. Oh, oh, oh. So... Here's a question. Why did her mother left them alone? Why did she leave the house? Oh, it's because that she did not agree of what their, her husband was doing. So she decided to flee. But that is not right. Ho, ho, ho. That is totally wrong what she did. Yep, that is true. What else did the family... Well, what else did they do? Well, they started singing in the church. And the father started, well, joining a community group for the civil rights. And... They even joined in the civil rights protest with Dr. Martin Luther King. And also what Aretha Franklin did first, he, she started singing to everyone. She shared her lovely voice to the entire world. So, another question is that during the, the presidential um, ceremony, during the ceremony, who became president who, of the United States? And it was during 2012. Well, it was Barack Obama. Yeah, he was the first black president of the United States. And who was singing at his ceremony at the inauguration? Aretha Franklin. And she sang the Liberty of Thee. She was singing so beautiful. Aretha has a lovely voice like an angel coming from heaven. So, here's a final question. Why did they call Aretha Franklin... The Queen of Soul. That's a good question. It's because of her voice. Her, it's because of she was being herself. She did not let anyone judge her who she is. A lovely singer and a beautiful woman who had the most strong and lovingly protecting her family and who's always there for everyone else in good times and bad times. Aretha has a voice of an angel and everybody loved her music because of her voice and also because of her heart too. She loves everyone and she respects them because they respect her and they love her very much because she is an angel. That's why she is being called the Queen of Souls. Well, I gotta go moon to sleep. Or jump over the moon. Don't be silly, Mr. Cow. Well, me too. I'm gonna get some sleep. Okay, so what advice do you want to give to the kids and to everyone else at home?
Well, and you have someone who was very special to you, who was, has a special gift and a talent, then you should always support them, appreciate them, and always be there for them. Because they need you as much as you need them. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes. Just like Arita is always there for her family, and her family are always there for her. So, kids, you should always be there for your family. Because they, they need you. Because they love you. And also, you have a strong talent. Like if you know how to play soccer, or baseball, or sing, or draw, or cook, well, or even anything that you want to be. Well, that is your talent. That is what makes you be yourself. You be you, okay? <laughs> Good night, everyone. We love you all. Mm. Ta-ta. Mm. Time to get some sleep, Goofy. Hey! Oh, that's my name. Good night. What well, I'm trying to say is that be yourself. Don't let anyone judge you who you are for what you love to do. Well, I don't let nobody judge me for what I love to do. And for who I am, it's because I like being myself. And sometimes I like to share my talents with everyone else. Now I'm going to share this one. I did this painting for Autism Awareness Month. And this painting did not come from the internet. No, nope. it came from my imaginations. It's because I love to think creative. When I think creative, I'm being myself. And when I'm being myself, well, I would paint. Or I would draw. But anyhow, this is my talent. And if some of you have talents or skills and you're scared to share with the whole world, well, share with your family first. Maybe they'll love your talent of what you're good at. If you're good at cooking or playing soccer or baseball or basketball or a dancer or anything else that you want to be, well, don't be afraid to share it with your family. Maybe they will support you, love you, and always respect you. Well, that's it for all, everyone. Tomorrow I'll do uh, an Easter story time tomorrow, okay? Beat the cat. He's the Easter story. Okay, I gotta go. Good night, everybody. I love you all. And remember, don't forget, tomorrow wear blue. It's Autism Awareness Day. <laughs>